everyone, it's your boy Galactic Count here. Today, we're gonna be doing the best way to play Zarya. So, um, yeah, let's go. So, Zarya is a, is a brawler tank. She, you wanna dive in with her, you wanna, you wanna go in. And, yeah, this is what she looks like. I got, like, a pretty cool skin with her. So, this is an Overwatch 1 skin, right? And this is an Overwatch 2 skin. Uh, I don't know what she's doing, like a ponytail thing. But, uh, yeah. So, she, uh, she's got a bunch of cool little weapons. And how this is going to work is with any other how to, best way to play tutorials that we do on this channel. We, uh, we try to do every single, we're trying to get, do every single hero. So, for you to guys find your mains, right? So, maybe if you're a new player, you can find, like, your perfect main. Or maybe if you're an older player and you want to change up a bit. So, these are some great tips. And, uh, personally, um yeah but um other than that um uh let's go into zarya and um let's head to the training ground and show you all her abilities her primary fire and her ultimate let's do this so as as i say again zarya is a brawler tank so you want to go you she's like big tough and you want to like keep getting those hits right uh and uh you'll see here how like you can do that in a game so with zarya with zarya you got this beam as a primary fire. So as a primary fire, you got this really nice beam. It's it ha it does have a um a limit of where it can hit. So I think yeah, right here. So this is the maximum damage length. So this might be maybe like 20, 15 meters, something like that. Uh but yeah, this is sort of like yeah. So basically, you just wanna stay far away with the beam, because again. Like, with the beam, it's like, it has some decent range. But, if, um, you don't really exactly like the beam, and you want to, like, get something sort of, like, junk rat, or maybe just, like, some sort of projectile or something. Her alternate fire is basically that. So, alternate fire is, like, like a tiny grenade, like a plasma grenade. So, this does, um, good damage, right? So, it's not like a, um, a spread beam. And it uses, um, I think, it uses, like, 25... Yeah, 25 per shot. Uh, unlike the just continuous um, using of the beam. So you're gonna have to be careful. So like you got four shots for that before you have to reload. And yeah. So basically also what you can do with the ultimate fire, alternate fire. So basically if you wanna get to like maybe like height or something, maybe movement, more mainly for movement because it doesn't really send you that high. But what you can do is just do this right so you get some nice movement this does damage you but since you do have a lot of health uh it shouldn't affect you too much now uh her other abilities so you see how these bots uh like don't have nothing to protect them let's say if i added one over there you see how the um bot is now covered in this cool shield site like structure basically that shield protects them from any damage for the duration of how long it lasts or if they reach uh 200 uh damage so either way but really good so if you want to defend now there is this really cool thing with zarya what i love about her is so basically see how i can give him a bot and myself a thing do you see how in the middle of my um in the middle of the um good what, is, what would this be uh aim point or whatever a crosshair in the middle of the crosshair you can see there's a number you see how it's on zero right now if if i give myself a shield if it shoots me if it shoots me there we go you see how it went up a little bit so basically that will actually charge up your beam so the more a damage you absorb the more charge up you want to do so maybe like if they start attacking you uh get get some of that get some of the damage Boom, boom. And this even works when you place your shield onto other players. So maybe there's like, I don't know, uh, maybe there's just a giant tank or something. Maybe it's a guy with a lot of health, you give him a barrier, then he just absorbs all those attacks, right? And then what you can do with that is uh, basically, what am I doing? What the hell? Okay, that was really weird. But uh, yeah, you can see how I give him an orb. Right, he absorbs the attack, and you can see my beam is charged up. And the more it's charged up, the more damage it does. So it's actually really cool, really nice, and it works with both you and when you place it on your um, uh, teammates. 
Uh, this does have a two thing, right? So you can place down your shield twice. But uh, I wouldn't recommend it because you want to, um, just in case there's like a something coming at you, uh, you want to like protect yourself, right? So I say maybe use one of them mainly as damage increase and then the other for protecting yourself. So honestly, Zarya's kit is so good. She, I'm pretty sure she's like one of the best tanks at the time of this recording. And uh, yeah, amazing. Now, let's get into ultimate. Her ultimate, grav is it called Graviton Surge? I think it is. Is it? I don't know. It might be. Yeah, Graviton Surge. So basically, if we just place it right here, hopefully, uh, this will work. So you can see it's basically a giant black hole. It does tiny amounts of damage, but uh, it's mainly, it's not really for a singular ultimate. It's meant to be paired up with a lot of ultimates. So like you want them like, cause basically it just uh, sucks everyone inside, right? So you can group them up. It also works with a Rissus thing. Like, you could double suck, but again, the, you can't have two tanks, so you can't do that. But we can do, maybe go against these Dragon Blades, uh, and you slice them. Or maybe you got Hanzo's ultimate, because they're... Or you could do a Diva Bomb style. So, honestly, really, really cool. Uh, love her so kit, fun. and, um, you know what? Let, let's try this in some real matches, and, uh, see how it goes. Let's sec select Zarya, and, uh, let's go. Oh. So again, we want to save two bubbles, so one bubble for us to absorb damage, right, and another bubble to gain damage. So make sure you want to do that, and uh, I think, should we go with projectiles? Yeah, let's go with projectiles. So you see the projectiles sort of like work like a grenade, right, they curve in. So close you can see how much damage i did to that reinhardt alone like even he even had a healer on her like it was actually insane and like i did it like half damage like if my my team was there then we could have killed him instantly and like especially when you get that maxed up your um zarya charge your bubble charge it's it just instantly it just eliminates just eliminates See how it go like, now I'm like 30 30 percent Oh look at that insane damage I just got from that Reinhardt pin Oh A fox is not taken twice in the same snare. Enemy here. GG's bro, first round lost. Okay, come on, we can do it. Next round.
Let's go. Woo. Let's try to go in from behind, see if we can surprise attack. We got the element of surprise. So Sombra, where are you? Yeah, let's go. Oh, look at that damn! Look at that beam damage. It's insane. Yes, that beam damage is insane. Look at that beam damage. Let's go. That beam damage was absolutely shredding on that Reinhardt. Oh, there's too many people around me. My armaments are ready. Come on. Let's go, bro. Come on, come on. They have us outnumbered. Get that. Yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Yes. Zari beam. Oh. Oh, they better get objective. Come on. Oh, GG's. GG's, bro. Well, I mean, that was the end of that. But you saw how much damage I did to that Reinhardt. I basically killed him. Someone saw my kill. But I would have killed him. Uh, and, but yeah. You can see how much damage he does. So, but anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.